Now, welcome to another edition of News from Naboo with Thor's Lightning Takes. And let's get right to the news. Okay, we're going to start off. There was an interview with Freddie Prince Jr. on Christian Harloff's YouTube channel. Freddie Prince Jr., as we know, played Kanan Jarrus in the Rebels show. Yeah, or Caleb Doom, if you or prefer. Or Caleb Doom. Yes, he was also in The Bad Batch. He was also in a comic book that was retconned. You know. <laughs> well, he wasn't. Freddie Prince wasn't. But his voice was also in The Rise of Skywalker, too. Yes, it for was. For reasons. Kanan for was reasons. one of the Jedi. I mean, all of them were there, but he got to speak, I guess. Yeah. So, with the upcoming Ahsoka show, people were like, we maybe get a live-action Kanan? We're going to get maybe a Freddie Prince Jr. playing the role? Which I don't think he really can. He doesn't... He's Unlike Katie Sackhoff, he does not look like his character. A little... Very, I mean, very not vaguely. in the same way, yeah. I feel like he's not as tall as Kanan, for one. Plus, Kanan was, uh, I mean, no offense to Freddie Prince, but Kanan was a bit on the younger side. He was, like, in his 20s. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Freddie Prince is not in his 20s anymore. So. But during this interview, we found out, like, Freddie Prince doesn't wish to reprise the role. One of our cats in the background is very distraught about this. Yes. He doesn't harbor any ill will towards the franchise or anything. I mean, he's happy with how Kanan's storyline ended. He says he feels future appearances of the character would only dilute the impact of his character's death. Hmm. Which I can kind of agree with. Kanan went out with a bang. And then, you know, you had the heart-wrenching decision later that he had to. That he always had to choose this path. That he had to sacrifice himself for the others. Yeah, we see Ezra have the chance in a way, in the world between worlds, mm-hmm. to pull him out of that moment, which kind of unstabilizes everything because you have a paradox mm-hmm. at because that point. Because if he pulls him out of that moment, then he would have died. should have died, yeah. And he wouldn't have been there to pull him out of the moment, which I'm glad that they recognize that that would be a paradox, and they're like, yeah, we, we, you can't. Yeah. It's unlike when he pulled out Ahsoka, which was a closed loop. Yeah, but even then, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the whole time travel thing. Right. That's me. Maybe you like it. I don't. <laughs> So when he was asked about his cameo in the Bad Batch, which was an awkward oh, cameo, it sounded so Kanan, weird. Yeah, with his swagger that you remember him having, it, you're like, oh, a little weird. It is, yes. Well, he was asked about that cameo, and he said, "I was asked to. Yeah, I didn't necessarily want to. I feel like every time you hear Kanan's voice since Rebels ended, it really kind of dilutes his impact. Makes sense. Yeah, I get what he's coming from." Then Harloff asked him about the line in Rise of Skywalker when he spoke to Rey through the Force, and he once again said, Yeah, I didn't want to do that either. I was asked as a favor, and I feel like all my, all their favors are used up now. Wow. (laughs) All right. Yeah. That sounds a little harsh, right? It does sound a little harsh, but I... You used up all the favors, guys. I kind of appreciate that he cares more about the character than his personal real life acting because obviously they're going to pay him for these things and he's like don't wreck my character story but not only pay him and again i mean no disrespect to freddie prince jr i i I like kanan and all that but i mean he doesn't exactly have a a huge career these days right not that i know of anyway so you know this we're talking about disney coming to him and asking him to reprise i don't think it's his most popular character necessarily did a lot of you know, a lot of films back in the early 2000s and stuff. You know, they're asking him to come back and he's rejecting it when he, that could help his career technically, right? He could, he could. I mean, not that they are asking him, but potentially they could. Well, and then Harloff also asked him, you know, to confirm maybe if he's got any involvement in Ahsoka or lack thereof, to which Freddy confirmed what we're all expecting at this point in the interview. He says, no, Ahsoka, I am done with Kanan. I'm too old for that stuff. Well, that's a weird way to put it. I mean, unless he's just saying he's too old for the character, which I kind of made the point well, earlier. And we also have to look at it this way. Just because he said he's done doesn't mean Disney's oh. done. <laughs> no, that doesn't Think about mean. it. Ashley Eckstein was Ahsoka for years and years and years. Rosario Dawson is Ahsoka now. So if you ask Ashley Eckstein, hey, are you going to be in Ahsoka? Of course she'll say no because yeah. she's not. She's not, yeah, but Ahsoka but is. But Ahsoka is. So well, we there's nothing know. saying they couldn't recast him because everyone will want to see the ghost crew all together again, including the deceased member. Well, they could do some CGI thing where they kind of have a, a flashback and he doesn't even talk or anything. I mean, mm-hmm. who knows what we'll we'll see. It might be weird after after this interview, hearing how he feels about his character coming back, it makes me... 
I don't I know. Feel uncomfortable if they put him in at this nah, point. I then. wouldn't say because we got to keep in mind Caleb. Caleb, I'm calling. Him, well, he was kind of Caleb Doom at that point. He came yeah. back as the Lothwolf. You know, he's yes, like he Doom. Was. So, I mean, it's not impossible. We'll see that. Yeah, that's not impossible. It's just an awkward situation hearing the actor go, no, I think that when you see him again, it dilutes this sacrifice he made. And then if we see him pop up, we're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're see, I don't, still. I don't know that if you see him in, like, a flashback. I, I get what he's saying, like, if we keep seeing him, like, come back, like, post that. Mm. But if we have a, a flashback of, like, Kanan and Ezra to, like, you know, the season one and it's live action, like, I don't think that dilutes the character or at all. Or if his voice possibly speaks through the forest to Ahsoka He's, or we to don't Ezra. Need, like, I don't, I don't, we don't need any more of that all the Jedi <laughs> stuff anymore. But I am all the Jedi. <laughs> you sound like a witch, but <laughs> maybe that's how you bring back all the Jedi. Yeah. But, but no, I mean, I don't, I agree and disagree because no, I don't think we need more post, you know, Death Kanan. Mm-hmm. A, a nice Lothwolf moment would be fine. You no, know it'd be really cool. And I'm sorry, everyone, that I'm really going to bounce around now. We've heard speculation that the Night Sisters, possibly some necromancy stuff, might be oh, going on out with Thrawn. Maybe not his body because they don't have that. But what if they bring back the spirit of Kanan Jarrus, perverted, and have Ezra fight it? No. What? That could be really emotional and charging. And I don't want to fight you. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to fight me neither. Yeah. Sorry, just... a little Spider-Man moment for you. Whatever. If that's in the show, though, I called it here first. If yes, <laughs> if that is in the show. You nailed it, and we will all give you credit. Yes. At least I will. Thank but you. But no, I, I agree and disagree with uh, Freddie Prince here. I agree sometimes characters just need to be gone. But in this context, a flashback to let people know, who don't know who Ezra Bridger is, who don't have a clue who Kane and Jarrus is either, that Ezra was trained by a Jedi, and maybe that intrigues you to go back and watch Rebels and mm-hmm. see that story. So agree and disagree with uh, Freddie here. But uh, as we know from Disney... No one's ever really no gone. One, not when you can make and money. And we didn't off of them. see Kanan's body after it blew up. <laughs> I think, so I think in that case, when you get engulfed <laughs> by flame, I don't know. I don't. I'm maybe just not. Saying. Maybe not. We didn't actually <laughs> see the charred. Like we know, Owen and Brew are dead, right? Because we saw the charred corpses. Well, we assume they, those are their corpses. Unless they <laughs> burned the stormtroopers and made Luke, Luke think, which is a theory we have because Brew's so badass. Yes. They made Luke think that was them, but now they're off living a good life somewhere else mm-hmm. in the galaxy because they wanted Luke gone. Because they knew Luke had a destiny to go they fulfill, did. and they didn't want him held back. Yeah, so they killed the stormtroopers who came, burned their bodies, and made it made Luke If think. Luke ever goes back to Tatooine again, they'll be like, oh, it would have been funny if the Rise, and, Rise of Skywalker. They're like, oh, living oh, there. They're still, oh, oh, this hello. is awkward. <laughs> no one's been here for so long. Maybe that was Baru. <laughs> we figured it out. It was Baru, hey? This is our what home. What are you doing in my house? Yeah. You're no. burying stuff in my yard. Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, let's, oh, let's move on. Oh, God, yes. Because we're going down a rabbit hole. Yes. All right, let's move into Mandalorian stuff. Ahmad Best, could he return in the next <laughs> season as Kelleran Beck? I think would diminish his... <laughs> no, don't start there. Don't even start. I mean, we got that flashback during season three, Grogu's escape of Order 66, the purge, you know, at the Jedi Temple... With the heroics of Jedi Master, Keller and Beck. Ah, oh, I loved seeing, I loved seeing oh, Ahmad I, Best. Yeah, that, that was awesome, that yeah. As I've said before, that moment meant more for the real-life actor, Ahmad Best, than mm-hmm. it did for the character Grogu. And that's part of why everyone loves that scene so much, because yeah. everyone's like, there he is! There, there, there he is. is. Coming back as the Jedi he portrayed in the 2020 online children's game show, Star Wars Jedi Temple Challenge. A character that he worked really hard and he created himself. Which is cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think we do see him again. I think we see the handoff to whoever he gives Grogu right. to. He left with Grogu, but that still doesn't explain how Grogu ended up where he was. No, not ultimately. What, Kelleran Beck's like, I'll just give you some pirates? We'll put you in storage? No, I don't <laughs> think so. Storage, I, think, yeah. I think there's more to tell. I mean, I think he's going back to Naboo, right? Oh my gosh, I would love to see him and Jar Jar it. talking. Oh yes, that would be... We still I don't mean... know who sent the Naboo ship to rescue him. No. Was it just... It was just randomly decided to help. Or was Jar Jar trying to help because he has connections to the Jedi as well. I thought when we were watching that... You thought Jar Jar was going to like stick his head out of the ship? (laughs) Come on, we still gotta go! (laughs) (laughs) I mean, yes, actually. (laughs) No, no, there's a small part of me that's like, well, yeah, I kind of thought. Yeah, I mean, yes. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, Dave Filoni and John Favreau did stop by EW's Dagobah Dispatch podcast asking, you know, if there were future plans in store 
Filoni says it's always a possibility. We love Ahmed, and he did such a great job. It was a real thrill for us to get him involved. We talked with him about it. We came up with these ideas, and we think, who might work with it? We make sure before we get too far in the process. So in this case, it's not just, here's who you're going to play. It's like, what do you think of this? We want you to be this person. We want your thoughts on it. We try to make it a real collaboration, and we think it's a key to the success of it. Well, yeah, he's already made this character. Yeah. This character exists, and as Favreau says... He's done a lot of work on that character of Keller and Beck for Jedi Temple Challenge, so he's been involved with Star Wars all the way through and definitely had formulated his character. And we love to draw from all of Star Wars and even things that aren't canon, if they feel right. We'll pull them in. And now that character exists squarely in Star Wars canon. I like that he was implying that Jedi Temple show wasn't canon. That's so sad. I was going to study all the lore stories from it. (laughs) What about the guy who uses the Force to sculpt clay? I mean, that was a thing. It was. Now I feel like I need to know. Then Favreau tipped his hand a bit because they you know, asked him whether we would see Ahmad Best come back as Kellerman back again. And he said, I think people dig seeing that character. I want to learn more about that character. Kellerman Beck, a Star Wars story? Kellerman Beck. Yeah. The book of Kellerman Beck? They said it was probably really fun for him to be on set because he's a prequel actor, you know? Yes. They said we had the clones on the set. We have Naboo Gars. These are things that, <laughs> that his other character originally. would know. No. Well, the, yeah, the, <laughs> they were all CGI back then. There were no yeah. real clones in the The clones weren't there, the and now they yeah. had actual clones. It's like a regression. It's funny. <laughs> it's like a progression. Is it a regression or a progression? I don't know anymore. I don't, well, they took the technology down. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so, but... <laughs> but it's better for the show. Yeah, and it looks... I, I generally think... Mm-hmm. You know, live action on set looks better than CGI. I mean, it's cool because, you know, he worked with George Lucas back in the day, creating his character, and now he's going back to that time when... Yeah, he's it's, going it's back cool. to the middle of that movie. Back to the prequels. Yeah, middle of Revenge of the Sith. When he's now seeing the the guards that he only dreamed of before because... <laughs> yeah, he when he literally had a dream they were there. I hope to see Keller and Beck again. I want to see oh, where yeah. this story goes. I want to see where he goes. I mean... How many Jedi survived Order 66? Was he involved in the path? Was he trying to shuffle people along the path? Did the path get breached at one point? Is that how Grogu disappeared? What happened? Well, there you go. You're already writing it for us. I like where you're going with it. I'll say that much. (laughs) Maybe Grogu also helped Shepard along the path. We don't know. Maybe. Yes, people perceive him yet as an infant, but he's not an infant. He understands just fine. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, for the most part. He doesn't always uh, listen so well. But he understands. Yeah. All right, on to new this week in Star Wars, etc. There is a quiet week on the horizon. Tuesday, Ant-Man Quantumania hits Blu-ray. So so quiet, we're not even telling you about Star Wars stuff. It's so sad, we still haven't even seen it. Because I heard it was just so panned. I was like, I guess I don't care. I I I didn't hear like one good review about it. No, I care, but only because I've seen every other movie. Yeah. And so I know that's at some point you got to break the habit, but well, I liked as we talked, we like Guardians of the Galaxy yeah. three. So, but what's beautiful is we still don't have any spoilers from it either because no, nobody liked nobody it talks so bad about they it. didn't care. I have no idea what happens in this. I know Kang's in it. Yes, <laughs> will he be Kang going forward, or are we recasting uh, yeah, well, him? That's a whole other discussion. That's a new can yeah. of worms. But we'll actually finally get to see <laughs> and Quantumanium. Yay! Yay! I, I'm looking forward uh-huh. to it. I guess. Wednesday, a quiet day in the comic world. We only have Star Wars Bounty Hunters 34. I think they're fighting Inferno Squadron right now from the Battlefront games. Mm -hmm. Indeed. And on Thursday, we have our voice chat in Discord, 8 p.m. Central Time. We had a really fun discussion last week. We talked a lot about Star Wars Visions, talked about Mandalorian. Yeah, we kind of broke down all the episodes of it. Well, it broke them down. But yeah, we talked about all of them, people, liked, what they liked, yeah. what they didn't like, pros, cons, where people put them on their lists. It was fun. Speaking of lists, I think we're going to be doing a tier list for that tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, it should be going up on Tuesday. Yeah, but just tomorrow. I, I know, I think of things in days of the week, not just today's tomorrows. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note... Because uh, if you think of everything that stays tomorrow, then what is next Friday? It's like, uh, it's three days after... It's Thursday's the... tomorrow. No, gosh, you're <laughs> annoying. I know. But anyway, that's going to be all we got for you this time. So now it's your turn to take to the comments below. Tell us what you think of any and all of today's news, or tell us what you think about the return of uh, Keller and Beck. 
You want to see uh, the more from him? The possible return of Kane. Yeah, Kane and the Jars. not return of Kane and Jarvis. Or possible, but not Freddie Prince Jr. return of Kane yes. and Jarvis. Yes, Kanan can still return. It's like he's but... giving his opinion so that when, people, when he comes back, or people are like, you know what, Freddie Prince was right. They shouldn't maybe, have brought him back. Yeah, maybe Freddie was right. Well, maybe see if they bring him back. Mm. Either way, leave those comments below and let's talk some Star Wars. And until next time, thanks for watching.